ان الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله واصحابه ومن والاه السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته and welcome to the reminder on knowledge and action and in this subject i want to cover three specific points the first point being the importance of seeking knowledge in islam rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith narrated in both bukhari and muslim man yuridu allah bihi khair yufaqihhu fi ad-din so whosoever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends good for he grants him understanding of the deen and fiqh linguistically in arabic means understanding so it's fantastic that many people in our ummah all across the country are seeking knowledge whether it's hifz and tajweed arabic sirah fiqh and other islamic sciences because all of these form the treasures of the islamic ideology the second point is connecting knowledge and action and in arabic knowledge is ilm which is ain lam mim and action is amal which is ain mim lam so we can see that both of these are intrinsically linked because they contain the same three root letters moreover allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-juma مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ حُمِّلُوا التَّوْرَاتِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَحْمِلُهَا كَمَثَلِ الْحِمَارِ يَحْمِلُ أَسْفَارًا So the example of those who are ordered to bear the responsibility of acting upon the Torah and then they did not carry it are like donkeys who carry books. So we can see that merely gaining knowledge for the purpose of academia is of no benefit to the carrier. So we should be gaining knowledge with the view of helping the ummah at large. The third and final point is that of an example of linking knowledge and action together. And the example is that of Imam Ahmad rahimullah who is one of the most famous scholars in his time and today he remains one of the most famous scholars of all time. Now Imam Ahmad is one of the founders of the former Dhahib and that doesn't happen just because of a mere academic study of islam and that he kept it to himself and he remained as a hermit rather what made him most effective in linking knowledge and action is that when the ulama via the khalifa imposed the belief that the quran was created imam ahmad was the only one who accounted the ruler on this point based on his knowledge so we can see imam ahmad linked knowledge and action together this meant that the ummah was protected because imam ahmad stood for the ummah and carried islam forward based on his knowledge and linking it to action so we can therefore see that in islam gaining knowledge is very very important but more so taking that knowledge and acting upon it for the sake of furthering islam for the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين